Donald Trump. He's even retweeted white supremacists. Like, 75 times. David Duke, former imperial wizard of the KKK, has openly supported him, and it took Trump a while to formally disavow his endorsement. I don't know anything about David Duke, okay? I don't know anything about what you're even talking about with uh, white supremacy or white supremacists. But the problem is white supremacists know about him, and they like what they see. And in Duke's case, they feel emboldened by Trump now to run for office, again. This is all part of something we like to call the extreme nationalism food chain. And it's something Hillary Clinton is using against Trump. From the start, Donald Trump has built his campaign on prejudice and paranoia. It starts at sites like Infowars, The National Enquirer, and Breitbart that are fueled by conspiracy theories and chock full of alt-right ideology. Stuff like this. Acting disoriented, looking like she's having many seizures. Now, it's definitely a problem that these sites peddle conspiracy theories, but it's worse that people from those sites are helping run Trump's campaign. Trump even hired Breitbart head Stephen Bannon as CEO of his campaign, and Roger Stone, a longtime Republican operative, was a key advisor to Trump in the early days of his campaign. He's also a frequent guest on InfoWars. Well, Roger, the media calls you this evil, nasty, galactic super liar, and then you're like the most accurate person I've probably ever had on air. Trump's hiring of these people brings it full circle. The alt-right get their information from conspiracy theorists who also happen to be advising Trump. So Trump says exactly what they want to hear. Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. He is the founder of ISIS. He's the founder of ISIS. Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish, the Second Amendment. And we already have an example of what this kind of talk leads to across the pond. Nigel Farage used the same dog whistles as Trump to get what he wanted, which was for the UK to leave the European Union. Radical breaching inside the mosques. I, th I think we have a duty in this country to do our very best to make sure that our own people get jobs first. They will use this to flood the continent with their jihadists. So the extreme nationalism food chain actually extends globally to far-right white nationalists in the UK, who are now actively campaigning with Trump in the US. I wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton if you paid me. The chain even extends all the way to Russia. The grand godfather of this global brand of extreme nationalism is Russian President Vladimir Putin. A global network of interconnected extreme nationalists from Putin to Farage to Trump and millions of followers who feel emboldened by their xenophobic, anti-foreigner, anti-immigrant rhetoric. That's pretty scary.